In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use text animators inside of After Effects to create epic cinematic titles. Hey everyone, my name is Cameron with Motion Science and welcome to today's motion design training. Let's jump in. Okay, so what we have here is a movie called Long Legs and you can see it's a very creepy background plate with some text over the top of it. Everything is 3D in this composition. So our long legs type is sitting over the top, uh, pushed further in Z space like we see here. So if I switch this over to a top view, you're gonna see here's our type, here's some of the background plate and the camera is moving towards it. So if I switch back here to one view, We've got a camera, we've got some grain over the top, we've got a point light creating some visual interest. If I play this back, we've got some texture labs in here. We've got the type, we've got some codes revealing themselves in the background here and the background head as well. So it's a pretty cool animation to start with, but we can make it really interesting by adding some text animators to the type here. And just to show you, I've got a fill color applied to the type uh, just to give it a little bit less desaturated red color. And so that's the first step. If you're eager to create motion design that's gritty, atmospheric, and cinematic, like the example I'm showing you, I invite you to explore the Motion Science membership at www.motionscience.tv mastery. Inside this membership, you're gonna find hundreds of projects just like this one, including the project files, and they can help you elevate your motion design to develop a very striking cinematic style through our trainings, our techniques, and our supportive community. So I definitely invite you to check it out. Now let's go back to the training. So moving into step number two, I'm gonna apply some more effects here, and that is number one, a Gaussian blur. And the Gaussian blur, turned on, it's very, very subtle, but it's just something that adds a little less digital crispness to the type. It makes it more organic by, by removing some of that hard edge of the type. So that's turned on, and we also have a sapphire glow turned on here as well. And again, very subtle. So you can see that's with and that's without. Very subtle effects, but the subtleties are what make our motion design awesome. Right, so that's in place now. Let's move to the next composition. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some text animators. Now to add a text animator, what you do is you can go up to animation. You can say apply animation preset, or you can browse presets. I like to apply animation presets because I've been using presets for a long time. So I kind of know what's in there and what I have to work with. Now, a lot of animators think that the animation presets are just very basic. And they are, but when you layer them with each other, they can be very, very powerful. And remember also that it's not just about using a preset right out of the box. It's about going in and tweaking the settings. So we're gonna double click here, go into our presets. We're gonna find text, double click that. And you can see here are the presets. I typically like to use animate in, animate out, and sometimes the blurs, um, but these are all really nice. For this particular instance, we're going to use slide down by character, as well as slide up by character. I'm not gonna apply them because I already have them here on my timeline. The first one we're actually gonna use is just a blur. And it's really easy, I can just click animate and I can go down here to blur and click that. And it's gonna add it here to my text. Now if I turn this on, you're gonna see that it's automatically blurry right there because I have it set to a pixel radius of 60 pixels. It's eased out. So it's a soft kind of move out of that blur and it comes into being clear here. So if I play this back, you can see it's already looking much more interesting, right? Just blurring coming into focus. So that's the first step. The next step is we're going to apply the slide up by character, which I showed you in the animation presets. Now I adjusted this one so that and see that the type is moving in like so. By default, when you apply this, it's going to have a high value down here in the position, something like 5,000 or 2,000, where it's making the type move from a really far distance up like this. And again, in motion design, it's all about the subtleties. So I just made it a very small value. I just need the characters to slowly move into place like this, right? So that's how it looks. Again, I'm using an ease out, and ease in. I'm also randomizing the order and playing around with the ramp up, ramp down, those kind of things. Just kind of playing around, having some fun with it. 
Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a slide down by character. And again, I changed the position to a negative 73. I randomized the order and now you can see there's type moving down, there's type moving up, right? It's just adding more visual interest here. Looking a lot more interesting. And finally, I added a scale property. So if I open this back up, I can select text, animate, and I can hit the scale feature here. And that is what animator one is here. And it's just a very simple keyframe from 60, size of 60, and it eases in to a size of 100. Now this just adds a little bit more speed to the type coming at the camera like we see here. And it just makes it a little bit more impactful. I didn't have to do this, but I thought, well, I could take it one step further by doing this. So that's what it is. And there you have it. We have a very cinematic piece of type over our poster for this movie just by applying a few simple text animators to this. Now, if you've enjoyed this After Effects training, I highly encourage you to check out the Motion Science membership. Inside, I have a lot more trainings, workshops, and courses on projects just like this that are cinematic and atmospheric and just moody. By diving deeper, you're going to learn how to think like a professional motion designer to solve creative challenges and elevate the quality of your work. I'll see you next time.